What's up trainers, welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're going to be diving into the Ultra League. Nothing special except maybe for my uh, Toxic Rogue with a cap which is really nice. Uh, but besides that we just got a regular strong team which is uh, good for you to use in the Ultra League if you want to climb some ELO. Uh, right now I'm at like 24, 20 ELO so almost at 2500. I've been stuck here for a while honestly by losing a lot of points like dropping 200 ELO and then climbing again 200 ELO. Uh, also I've been stuck between the 2400s and uh, 2500s for a while but yeah it happens sometimes hoping maybe that the single type cup is going to be uh, helpful and also um, be able to that we can climb up to the 2500 would be nice um, but anyways uh, without further ado let's hop into these matches where we are facing a drapion on the lead and they make a beautiful catch i was gonna say but they make a catch on a jelly sand which is fine we're gonna stay in because we got the answer for drapion in the back by uh, with the toxic rock and toxic rock obviously don't want to see that jelly sand so this is actually working out very well for us also uh, quick kind of like a side note uh, i did a few battles in this uh, sets which are not going to be the best because i was just not playing like really sharply or whatsoever where i just make childish mistakes uh, which is not going to help me in those games but you will see those later on anyways uh, there are also, also a few games where I did play better and uh, take those uh, W's home uh, but here we go for the uh, uh, for the um, night slash where we also got the boost which is nice and they show their final Pokemon which is going to be Scrafty and at this point this game is already over uh, I can just easily go for Dragon Claw it doesn't really matter at this point it doesn't also matter where my uh, Dragon Claw is going to land because if they try to catch which they do right here I don't care because Toxic Rock is basically going to sweep this whole the team uh, we can easily come back in and they know better and they're gonna top left toxic rock obviously in the back is really helpful for us also the, the strategy behind this team is basically where you are running an a b a line uh a b a because we are running counter on the lead and also on the back um which is basically um the way how you should play this team is if they have a answer for that counter user on the front so on the lead you uh have a good time with the toxic rock in the back in general because in general General, they are weak against counter in the back uh, if they have the answers for it on the lead so um, if you face for example a Nido Queen in general what I would like to do is face uh, or stay in for a while then switch into your Charizard because that will basically allow them or allow you to lure out that Swalbert or that Heart Ghost or answer for uh, whatever is going to be uh, for that uh, for that um, counter user uh, because they've seen it on the lead and they want to uh, basically use or utilize that pokemon f the best they can uh, by f in general then swapping it into your safe swap um, so here my opponent either clicked the wrong pokemon they didn't want to swap in or they were just absolutely core broken after that uh, pitch shot was gone uh, which basically allowed them to uh, <laughs> well leave this game so in this next game we got the uh, dragonite on the lead and in general when there is a dragonite on the lead they are weak in the back against counter so uh, i'm just gonna swap instantly into my um uh, into my Charizard and I'm just also gonna instantly spam out these Dragon Claws just to make sure that we get uh, all the damage and here I'm gonna under tap it just to make sure that if my opponent decides to swap out in general the uh, your opponent or other trainers like to tap and then uh, switch out so in this scenario if you uh, under, under tap it under charge it or under tap it I should say they you basically catch them in their fast move animation making or allowing you to uh, basically deal disallow them of swapping out if that makes sense um so here i think this was too quick for a superpower which it was which is fine because now we uh played into the cmp uh, making sure that we get rid of this um uh of this uh dragonite and they have an ascap in the in the back and i'm gonna swap into my uh, toxic rogue and here my opponent i think make a mix makes a big mistake by swapping out i think they should have went for the drill run uh, and then maybe they would have won this game but because they just swapped out that is going to be a gg for us i think it might still be close but honestly we can just easily um load up to two charge moves in this scenario even though we get the attack debuff we will be able to do a lot of damage with the um, mud bomb against the scaf because scaf is not the tankiest it has a high attack stat but it is uh, but the attack set is not high enough as we do win cmp against um the scaf which is really huge honestly toxic rogue 
is a really good one for the um, uh, Ultra League, especially because it just has a very high attack set. The move set it has is really great, and it also is good against other fighters. Um, and um, for example, it also wins CMP against Charizard, which is absolutely insane because in general Charizard wins almost any CMP in the Ultra League meta, but it doesn't against, for example. Toxicroak. Also against Excav, I'm not too sure if it wins. Here I'm gonna play it the exact same way uh, because my recent last opponent, uh, they didn't swap out. So this was kind of like to be expected, but honestly, uh, it doesn't really matter too much, even though they do make a nice catch on the uh, sand slash but still their uh, ice punch is not going to be enough for them to ko us uh, and one blast burn will either guarantee our switch advantage or a shield advantage which is going to be very advantageous but obviously or well not obviously but here my opponent makes a, a great call by just letting uh, deleting the sand slash they probably know that they're not, that sand slash is not going to be the best uh, or their wing con in this game they know it's going to be dragonite and that is going to be very tough for us but honestly this game is still not over i'm just gonna farm up and uh, make sure that we get to the night slash uh, i think my opponent is going to go straight for the nuke shot here shadow uh, dragonite is going to hit like a truck and here i'm just gonna go for the move as well um, making sure that we get either the damage off and take out the dragonite or that we get the shield they shield up and here i try to make a catch for the uh, superpower but I make a huge mistake because if I would have just stayed in and this is why I'm, what I mean with um, with having the ABA line, I think I would have won straight away. Uh, why? Because in general, people like to play out that lead Pokemon because you they see that you have that counter user and they are not expecting that other counter user in the back as well. Um, and now because I swapped out, it allowed them to just stay in, go for multiple uh, Dragon Claws, to put me into a range where they can uh, easily go for a crunch, as you can see right now. And yeah, we have nothing now to hit them for, uh, except for the resisted gunk shot, which is maybe going to be enough. But no, we get outpaced here. They go for the move, and yeah, that is going to be really unfortunate here. Uh, as we uh, we were, we, we could have won this game easily looking back at it right now. But again, that is that is a learning moment for me as well. But also maybe for you if you want to copy this team. You are running an ABA line. So in general, if they have a hard answer for it in the back, there is something weak against the Toxic Rogue. You will see that later on as well as you have already seen it in the previous games. Now, we face off a Swampert, which is obviously where we want to see it because our back line doesn't like Swampert at all. Uh, but my opponent plays this uh, risky, but it pays off for them because they go for the nuke move of Earthquake. Uh, and now they only need two moves to get get rid of me otherwise they need three hydros uh, and this is actually going to also put them into a range where I think they will be able to still reach another hydro if I come in with my Charizard um, but now let's see if we can still play this game out and as you can see they make it with one HP which is so uh, well it, it, this one hurts uh, because we have to give up a shield which is not the, the best scenario and here I should have maybe farmed up to the um, blast burn but honestly I don't think it matters too much because we got the head start of energy so I'm just gonna go for the uh, dragon claw spam straight away uh, as here i'm just gonna go for the move as well uh, for another dragon claw they might uh, end up shielding here but it doesn't really matter too much for me because i just want to get this chip damage off because um even though we are down one shield we had the energy uh, head start against the other charizard so as you can see we will be able to survive one more dragon claw and this is going to put them into a range where i think we can easily farm them down or even or they won't even get to a another charge move and if they do they will only get to a dragon claw because they are like a bit ahead on uh, there's a fly here go away uh, um, but they're a bit ahead on energy uh, with the uh, Charizard. And as you can see right now, they uh, have a, uh, well, something weak in the back against counter. So that's how the ABA line, I also make a brave call here by not shielding. Uh, and that's going to uh, even uh, seal the deal even more if it wasn't already sealed. And that's going to be a GG very well played. All right, picking up a uh, good lead for us, a fantastic lead for us. And they swap into a gl uh, Gliscor, which this team struggles against. is going to be Flyers. Obviously, we have two counter time user so the uh, fast move is going to be resisted on uh, against any flyer well except Pidgeot maybe or uh, Noctowl but uh, those are not too common Pidgeot is but Noctowl isn't um, but they get the boost which is really unfortunate but still this game or this mid game is not over yet we are still able to uh, get the bait here which is huge and now I'm just going to over farm a lot and um, basically uh, allowing them to get to another move which is fine because I was intent uh, well it, it was kind of like intentional where I wanted to uh, just overload a lot of energy and now I'm just going to go for the nuke move if they decide to shoot up this move 
Wolves. I'm not too sure if he will be able to go reach another one, but they tried to call the bait maybe, and uh, we, we are not gonna allow them uh, to call that bait because we just went straight for the blast burn and keeping our switch because switch for us is really important because aligning that uh, Toxic Rogue against uh, the Jelly Scent is everything besides ideal it's uh, absolutely uh, uh, horrible uh, saying it myself but we get the alignment which is fine and now we will be able to uh, put that uh, obstagoon against that jelly scent again and they make a beautiful catch but honestly it doesn't matter because it's going to be on the cabellion and we got the hardest lock and uh, answer for it in the back and that is just another uh, showcase of how the aba line really works out because they're not expecting another counter user in the back they might expect something like i don't know a trevenant or whatsoever ever um, which would still be able to uh, or uh, still be uh, advantageous for us but also with the stone edge coverage that they have um, that might have uh, maybe uh, give them a win con but we had the answer for it right so uh, next game we got the needle queen which is the um, answer for the counter user on the on the on the lead so I'm expecting that they have something in the back which is going to be weak against counter because they are staying in which is going to be fine for them so I'm gonna take one move and then I'll Afterwards, I'm just gonna go straight for the Dragon Claw, which, in looking at hindsight, is not the best thing to do. But here, I wanted to just get rid of that Needle Queen or put it in so low that we will be able to um, uh, uh, farm it down afterwards with counter. But my opponent is running Stone Edge. Oh, so that feels bad. We get deleted. Go away, Max. Go, go away, the Rich Max. Get off the field right now. Uh, and yeah, that is going to basically seal the deal for them. At this point, my opponent is going to start playing with me. Why? You will see. You will see. It's not going to uh, be very nice. Because they have a uh, Pharisian in the back. We have nothing for it. I'm just going to farm up as much energy as I dare. Uh, making them have to maybe shield up this move. Because they think it's going to be the gunk shot. Which we did have. Where we are also going to get a shield. And now we might, we might have a wink on. Their uh, counter against the uh, fighting type. Uh, or counter user is basically gone. Or is gone I should say. Uh, and now let's see if we can manage. Uh, but as I said before, I think my opponent, or I know actually my opponent is playing with me. You will see as well, they are just gonna spam out these uh, leaf blades and that there's gonna be some point where I do have to actually shoot up one or two. I already shooted up one resisted leaf blade because we are getting low on HP. Yeah, I went for the uh, mud bomb basically to hope that we could uh, afterwards farm them down and leave with like two or three mud bombs. But they're gonna swap out and they have a jelly scent in the back. So you see that button on the left, top left, top left. See, see you later, bye bye. There's nothing we could, we could have done there really. We didn't get the alignment we wanted. So um, here we have the simultaneous swap into the Charizard and this is going to be another game where I make a huge mistake. Uh, really the, the worst, I wasn't sharp at this point, maybe I should have gone to bed if you see the time. But honestly it doesn't really matter too much uh, because you will learn also from those uh, uh, key moments as you, well the main thing really here is to be more patient uh, and um, more really think about what to do in certain situations and not just, just follow your instinct sometimes that does help obviously but in this scenario it didn't really because as you can see we get the uh, where we lose switch i didn't want to get down on shields really um and also here i'm just gonna go straight for the move i could have think i think i could have won I went for one more counter here because i would have outpaced and here i blind swap I blind swap into uh, my Toxic Rogue. And if I would have just stayed in, uh, went for a Night Slashes all the way against the Swampert, we would have gotten them probably so low that we would have had this game easily won. And now I just gave my opponent the absolute wink on where there's nothing we can do. It's 6-2 a Mud Bomb, uh, if I'm not mistaken. 5-2 a Hydro. They will just simply outpace me in this matchup where there's nothing, uh, yeah, nothing we can do. They can just easily shoot up both moves. I'm gonna shoot up this move as well. Here my opponent makes a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, they don't have to go for an earthquake. They can just simply go for a uh, hydro, but maybe they did it to take the piss off me because uh, after this hydro, uh, we are actually gonna swap out if we can. We survive, we have a mud bomb stored. Can we get this swamp out of the way? We cannot, and that's going to be really unfortunate because now they will be able to reach another hydro. And looking back at it again, I make the, 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 the fact that I, blind swapped into my uh, toxic rogue was basically because i expected them to have something like a hard counter in the back but it was only going to be a swampert so yeah 
big 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 mistake because that is going to lose us this game where even a gunk shot wouldn't have to one shot at them i think well i know for sure and here we have the super effective mud, um, mud bomb coming coming through and now let's see if this is going to be enough to take them out is not and they also have a move so yeah that's going to be a gg uh very bad played by me <laughs> not very well played but bad played by me but yeah it happens sometimes and now we move on to the next game where we got a um well something uh, we don't really like to see on the lead but i'm deciding to stay in for a while uh, for a bit basically to uh get off there some chip damage no we're gonna try to catch the move but they hold on to their energy which is a great play showing them some patience by my opponent but now let's see do we they, they still went for the blast burn obviously that's going to do more damage and now they're gonna come in with the wall ring so i think they left with another blast burn loaded uh, looking at my own energy or just short of uh, a blast burn by one turn uh, and now and they kind of swap into the uh, wall rain we go for the blast burn it lands and now uh, i'm gonna let this go why because i will have some nice uh, farm on my uh, Obstagoon and here I make a mistake where I overform a bit too much I get greedy and I go for the move on the CMP tie allowing them to get some energy off uh, and also put some uh, put some pressure on my uh, HP uh, but still we are able to tank so but that was unnecessary we didn't have to take that damage um, now we get the farm down we are almost at the back to back and now let's see how my opponent is going to respond I'm gonna shoot up if they come in with the um, uh, cherry shard because I think there were one sh wing attack short of the blast burn or they at the move they go for the move and it's only going to be the dragon claw which is unfortunate uh, but still we are so far ahead on energy at this point that we are easily going to uh, take uh, the second night slash as well and we get the boost and getting this boost i don't think if it's going to matter too much at this point because they can still uh, outpace us to the next move uh, but they throw really fast in my opinion so i think this is only going to be another dragon claw and now let's see it is going to be another dragon claw and if they want to preserve their HP they have to shield but honestly I'm not expecting them to shield unless they are super weak in the back and they actually decide to shield up which is going to mean only one thing they're weak against counter users what do they have in the back is going to be a registeel and that's going to be it for this game as well because we can just easily uh, clean up this game with the toxic rogue with a cap rank 3 for the ultra league super cool on uh, obviously uh, really happy to have this uh, this man with the cap because yeah it just looks uh, looks dope if we would have it could have only been better when it was shiny right because it's a really cool shiny here we go for the sludge bomb just to uh, bm our opponent because we got bm'd in the last game right or the previous one uh, before that one and we take them out with the sludge bomb so that's going to be a gg Alrighty, next game we got the uh, dream lead with uh or not specifically the best lead but a good lead for us obviously because we have the counter damage which is going to be su double super effective and they swap into a galissapod galissapod this is going to be very interesting it's a really strong and good mon uh it only makes basically uh, misses uh, one uh, really strong charge move besides the uh, liquidation which it just got but i don't really have the best answer for it why because it resists all my fast move pressure ex except for the charizard but it also has access to the move liquidation which is going to basically one shot my charizard adding up with the uh, um, shadow cloud damage and here we resist the shadow cloud damage uh, and we can take uh, multiple x scissors uh, which is going to be fine so i'm just going to stay in this matchup uh, making sure that we get to the move and now let's see how my opponent is going to react i think we are still uh we still have enough hp to survive this move as you can see right now and this is going to either give us switch or shield advantage and i'm actually hoping that they will use a shield but my opponent knows better and they let that go and they go for some extra farm so now uh we got the answers for it so i'm just gonna swap into my um uh, toxic rogue straight away here i'm gonna actually decide to shoot up because if it's a drill round that's going to hurt but they actually went for the bait and what do they have in the back it's going to be amphros so amphros is a bit scary so now it's all about good timing uh, making sure that my opponent doesn't get an extra fold switch through uh, by throwing just before the uh, fold switch hit um, and as you can see they go for the move and i think if the, well this is only going to be a thunder punch or a brutal swing uh, we can tank one thunder punch and now i'm just going to go for another mud, mud bomb and uh, if we reach another mud bomb that's going to be it for this game uh, and if we don't there might still be a chance for my opponent now let's see we do reach another mud bomb and if this game wasn't over already this game is over right now uh, because we will be able to take them out here and show them our final pokemon and that is going to be it for this game so yeah that safe swap of the um 
uh, Golis support was actually kind of like tricky for us uh, because we don't really have the biggest answer for it in this team. Except, well, maybe the Charizard, but honestly, I would have, well, if I would give you an advice, play it like I did because uh, you will resist that uh, fast move pressure of the Shadow Claw and you were able to just uh, put some work in because you're also ahead on energy. And yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave, if, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I will see you trainers in the next video. Peace.